Secretary of State Hillary Clinton recently announced that the Obama administration will be working hand in glove with the United Nations to pass a new small arms treaty. Disguised as an international arms control treaty to fight against terrorism and international crime syndicates, the UN Small Arms Treaty is in fact a massive global gun control scheme. Hello, this is U.S. Congressman Paul Brown from Georgia. I'm helping the National Association for Gun Rights lead the fight to defeat this radical treaty, and I want your help and your signature on a critical survey. Ultimately, the UN Small Arms Treaty is designed to register, ban, and confiscate firearms owned by private citizens like you. So far, the gun grabbers have successfully kept the exact wording of their new scheme under wraps. But looking at previous versions of the UN Small Arms Treaty, you can get a good idea of what's likely in the works. If passed by the UN and ratified by the U.S. Senate, the UN Small Arms Treaty would almost certainly force the United States to enact tougher licensing requirements, making law-abiding Americans cut through even more bureaucratic red tape just to own a firearm legally. Confiscate and destroy all supposed unauthorized civilian firearms. That's all firearms owned by the government, excluded, of course. Ban the trade, sale, and private ownership of all semi-automatic weapons. Create an international gun registry, setting the stage for full-scale gun confiscation. I'm sure I don't have to tell you, this is not a fight we can afford to lose. Ever since its founding 65 years ago, the United Nations has been hell-bent on bringing the United States to its knees, to the petty dictators and one-world socialists who control the UN. The United States of America isn't Ronald Reagan's shining city on a hill. It's an affront to their grand designs for the globe. And the UN's apologists also know that the most effective way to finally strip you and me of all of our freedoms would be to destroy our gun rights. That's why I was so glad to hear that the National Association for Gun Rights is leading the mobilization effort to stop this assault on our Constitution. The truth is, there's no time to waste. You and I have to be prepared for this fight to move fast. The fact is, the last thing that the gun grabbers at the UN and in Washington, D.C. want is for you and me to have time to mobilize gun owners to defeat this radical treaty. They've made that mistake before and we've made them pay, defeating every attempt to ram the Treaty on Small Arms into law ever since the mid-1990s. But time may not be on our side. Certainly, President Obama is not on our side. In fact, we're likely to only have a few weeks to defeat the treaty when President Obama and Secretary of State Clinton make their move to demand that the Senate ratify the UN Treaty on Small Arms. So our one and only chance to stop the U.N. Small Arms Treaty during the ratification process in the U.S. Senate is to rally the pro-Second Amendment majority of Americans right now. As you know, it takes 67 Senate votes to ratify a treaty. With new program champions in the Senate, rounding up enough votes to kill this thing should be easy, right? Unfortunately, that could not be further from the truth. Even with the Republican tidal wave last November, there still isn't a pro-gun majority in the Senate to kill ratification of the treaty, and recent events only make the situation more difficult. So if we're going to defeat the U.N. Small Arms Treaty, we have to turn the heat up on the U.S. Senate now before it's too late. Let me ask you, do you believe the U.S. Constitution, the Bill of Rights, and the Second Amendment are the supreme law of the land? Do you believe any attempt by the United Nations to subvert or supersede our constitutional rights must be opposed? If you said yes to these questions, please sign the survey that the National Association for Gun Rights has prepared for you. Your survey will put you squarely on record against the UN's Small Arms Treaty. And along with your signed survey, I hope you'll send a generous contribution to help the National Association for Gun Rights finance this battle. And with your generous contribution, the National Association for Gun Rights will rally Second Amendment supporters to turn up the heat on targeted U.S. Senators. Already tens of thousands have joined this effort. 
but it will take a much bigger outpouring to block the combined pressure of the media, President Obama, and Secretary of State Clinton. And that's why the National Association for Gun Rights is preparing a massive program to launch the second this treaty is brought before the Senate. Direct mail, phones, email, blogs, guest editorials, press conferences, hard-hitting internet, newspaper, radio, and even TV ads, if funding permits. The whole nine yards. Of course, a program of this scale is only possible if the National Association for Gun Rights can raise the money. But that's not easy, and we may not have much time. In fact, if gun owners are going to defeat the UN Small Arms Treaty, pro-gun Americans like you have to get involved now. So please put yourself on record against the UN's Small Arms Treaty by signing NAGR's Firearms Sovereignty Survey. And along with your survey, please agree to make a generous contribution to the National Association for Gun Rights. Every dollar counts in this fight. Thank you in advance for your time and money devoted to defending our Second Amendment rights.